And now to a different kind of collection that you don't see very often. Yeah, and tonight we're not talking about pennies or baseball cards or, of course, you know, stamps. A right. lot of people do that. Instead, our own Kevin Rader found a man down south in Bloomington whose specialty is collecting memories. That's right. But there are two things Mike Walcott wishes he had more of, time and money. We all have a few things around the house that we could probably just as well do without. Well, if Mike Walcott is around... But, yeah, that's uh, something you don't see very often. There's a sure. good chance he'd buy it. I just can't keep from buying all this stuff that I've got. Here's the payloader. The airplane that's in the old trailer out back. And I, I've got the front of it and everything. And the 1974 MG under all of that somewhere. I'm surprised how much I take for that. <laughs> it's no wonder American Pickers stopped by to pick up a few items a few years back. They had to be just as impressed as I was when we pulled up. I love this general store, Crystal Palace, which is like the bar, and of course yeah. the jail is perfect right outside the bar. <laughs> yeah, the place, that's the place for it, isn't it? <laughs> the jail came from Ellettsville, circa 1902. All of it admittedly needs work, but it has become a kind of photographer paradise. They just like it like it is. They don't want me to fix anything on it. There are the old cabins out front, which he wants to clean up to possibly host some weddings. The old blacksmith shop, which he wants to restore as well. And then, there's the old Hayloft Jamboree building, which now houses Katie Lynn Auctions every week. I bought the, that car there and that tractor at garage sales. Oh, I tell all three of them. That one there I bought her at garage sale. They're old pictures, old signs, old posters. This one from the movie, Having a Wonderful Time, starring Ginger Rogers and Douglas Fairbank. And also, starring some impressive up-and-comers like Lucille Ball and Richard Red Skelton. And I've got a huge collection of this stuff. And he has this, a tiny oak and bucket from the IU-Purdue rivalry, dated 1925. You said your dad collected a lot of stuff, and you said he you didn't did. want to get to where your dad was. Well, yeah, right? he, he got a little carried away, and uh, I think I'm there. <laughs> I think I'm right That's there with him. I know what I was thinking. <laughs> Watching him, you have to wonder what will happen to all of this when he's gone. But at age 64, Walcott doesn't think that way. Years ago, and, and he it, just has too many things to fix. All it takes is time and money, and that's the only two things I don't have. <laughs> at least, not yet. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, now with the sneak. Cool I place, love, huh? Yeah, I love going back in time. Now, before you all load up to take your family there and, of course, take <laughs> pictures, as you heard him, he needs more time and right. he needs more money, right. so he's going to have to charge you a photographer fee if you take pictures. I know. There. He I says he Thank looks, you. he loves having yeah. visitors, but he's got to find a way to make money yeah. somehow. It's all That's good. That's the deal. It's all good. That's really